Good morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session, the 31st of January 2018, the last day of the month of January. Okay, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of market stats then, let's quickly go through market stats for you folks. Okay, so... Uh, Asian markets, you have uh, a mixed session there, Nikkei down, Shanghai down, but the Hang Seng certainly higher. Overnight, it was all about State of the Union speech, uh, US equities markets sold off going into that, given the fact that we've got that bigot and racist in power, uh, that moron and his comments can send the markets obviously crashing and a lot of individuals are cashing out or giving the 10% rally that we've already seen this year. Now, concerns over Apple as well, there were concerns, rega concerns regarding Apple, so that certainly was a factor as well. Uh, also, uh, U.S. healthcare stocks certainly took a hit as well, given the fact that uh, Berkshire Hathaway, Amazon, and uh, J.P. Morgan all colluding together in terms of uh, obviously uh, providing an alternative healthcare system. So again, that certainly was a drag on um, U.S. equities, and that obviously has hurt European equities to a large extent. We've gapped lower, but we've managed to shake off the the actual weakness uh, overall. Okay, so yeah, again, State of the Union speech. So again, the uh, the market's certainly uh, selling off into that, going into that. Now again, uh, Mr. Trump didn't say anything negative, didn't say anything controversial. Uh, again, so uh, oh, he's also touting the uh, the benefits of his infrastructure plan. So again, that should certainly put a potential flaw in the market. Given the fact that we're looking at the S&P 500 here, let's just bring this up for you. Now there is a potential H&S formation being formed on the S&P, so watch out there. We have support around this region, around 28, 24. Okay, if obviously if that cracks, then you are going down to 2807. Okay, you've left the unfilled gap behind as well, so bear that in mind. Given the fact that there was no real fear out of the straight union speech, nothing really controversial, etc. Uh, again, one could argue that the uh, gap at 2853 certainly can be closed. So just take that into consideration too, okay, folks? Righty then, okay, so moving on then. In terms of. Um, European markets this morning in terms of economic data. Chinese data out overnight came in stronger than expected, so that certainly has helped sentiment or relieved sentiment to a large extent. Consumer confidence out of the UK came in slightly stronger than expected. Uh, you've had uh, the uh, situation with regards to uh, uh, German retail sales this morning came in weaker than expected, but the unemployment numbers came better than expected, so bear that in mind. Uh, consumer or CPI data out of France came more or less in line. Uh, Korea speed, uh, Mr. ECB Kur, nothing really major. Uh, CPI data out of, um, out of the Eurozone certainly came more or less in line. So from my perspective, certainly looking for a potential short squeeze here. And also Mr. Korea speech certainly was certainly dovish from my perspective. Uh, Asian markets, again, like I've explained, US markets, certainly that's the junction. Now let's look at the German markets. Now, one of the reasons why I'm bullish on European equities here is given the German DAX now is in support. It's closed the gap at around 3180, so therefore I'm looking for a bounce. Daily chart as well, looking for a bounce with an unfilled gap above it being the potential target. Bear in mind the daily chart did make a higher high. Okay, so again, higher highs, higher lows remain the uh, the status uh, quo at present. Okay, that's the game. Uh, that's the, uh, the the current situation now. In terms of the German DAX now, I'm certainly expecting inverted head and shoulders formation here. Okay, you can use this diagonal trend line if you wish. You've got this uh, down sloping breaking out of that. Okay, we've made a double bottom. Okay. Uh, we've uh, certainly uh, not made a lower low, okay, so you've got a higher low here, okay, looking to potentially reverse and, cut and hit that target. So inverted head and shoulders formation in playing the DAX, targeting the upper line at 13, 3, 13 3, 2, 3, 2 and 20, okay, the unfilled gap. So if German DAX is bullish, uh, all the European equities are bullish as well, so always bear that in mind based on intermarket analysis. Now 60 minute chart of the uh, CAC, yes, you do have an h &S formation on the 60 minute chart, but having said that, we've closed the gap. We've certainly held support here as well. So again, hot, hot pivot support is holding. Gap fill certainly is holding as well. Again, looking for a potential bounce. We've not made a lower low, okay. We've made a higher low, okay. You've still have unfilled gap below. Okay, now looking to potentially pop, pop, and pop. You've got the unfilled gap at uh, 5520 as well. So that certainly comes into play too. In terms of FTSE 100, from my perspective, we, I certainly was expecting a rally higher. We got to 7600, we failed now. We've gone back lower isn't exactly a good sign okay it certainly isn't a good sign if we break that uh, our potential pivot low here at uh, 7580 then that certainly is a negative sign okay so just bear that in mind uh, from my perspective still expecting the uh, target at 7610 looking for a recuperation or recovery above 7600 let's see if we can sustain that and let's see if we can achieve that as well so that's the state 
that's the uh, current expectations okay in terms of FTSE looking to hit 7610 looking to hit 7620 on the upside 60 minute chart the FTSE 100 again you've got horizontal support here okay looking for that to hold if that cracks then you're looking at 7560 and then down to 7510 as well so bear that in mind 10 minute chart on the FTSE or daily chart should I say FTSE previous resistance equals support so I was expecting or I am expecting this potential previous resistance equals support to kick in here okay the breakouts are to certainly hold and look for a potential short squeeze higher again let's see what the market decides okay that's my understanding at present okay so i think that's a good summation really of european markets please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly download the latest trade signal app goodbye now